They're lined up. And they're off over a mile and three quarters in the listed vintage crop stakes, beginning well. Emily Dickinson with fringe claim prominent, being followed by Bolshoi Bally and Par Filaghi, the back marker in these early stages of an already well-spaced outfield as Sun Chart. As French Claim goes on in front of Emily Dickinson, a gap of four to five lengths to Bolshoi Ballet in third, and fourth is Par Filaghi, fifth of the five is Sun Chart. Coming up to pass the winning post with the circuit to go, the leader is French Claim and Wayne Lorden by two and a half lengths to Emily Dickinson and Ryan Bohr. Six cleared of stable companion Bolshoi Ballet, Shami Heffernan in third, Par Filaghi in fourth, Mikey Sheehy with the back marker, Sun Chart, and Andy Slattery. Heading away from the stands towards the side of the track, French claim, job well done here last time, cuts out the running from Emily Dickinson, then Bolshoi Ballet, Parfilagi, and Sun Chart with 10 furlongs to go swing into the back straight. French claim the leader from Emily Dickinson, five lengths to Bolshoi Ballet in third, Powerful laggy last but one, and the back marker remains Sun Chart with nine furlongs to go. The quintet continues well spaced out. French Clay bowling along, good three lengths in front of Emily Dickinson. Good six lengths cleared of the third running Bolshoi Ballet. Just had the one run last year, has two behind Powerful Aggie and Sun Chart. Heading for the halfway stage, French Claim and Emily Dickinson, the principal pairing in the market, continue well clear of Bolshoi Ballet, Powerful Laggy and Sun Chart as they head past the halfway point. Order unchanged, it's French Claim the leader from Emily Dickinson with Bolshoi Ballet keeping out from the running rail and then Powerful Laggy and Sun Chart. Just over six furlongs to go as they make their exit from the back straight in the vintage crop listed stakes over a mile and three quarters. It's French Claim the leader, tracked by Emily Dickinson, a little bit closer in third, Bolshoi Ballet, and then Sun Chart, who relegates Powerful Aggie to be last of the quintet, with five furlongs to go. French Claim and Wayne Lorden continue at the head of the race. Emily Dickinson, Ryan Moore in second place. Then Bolshoi Ballet and Shemi Everton in third. Fourth is Sun Chart, Andy Slattery, and the back marker is Powerful Aggie. And Mikey Sheehy with half a mile left to go. Turning for home, French Claim maintains a three-length advantage over Emily Dickinson. Nudged along in third place is Bolshoi Ballet and then Sun Chart in the stripes. Written along in last place is Par Filaghi as they come up to the brow of the hill with three furlongs to go. French Claim followed by Emily Dickinson. Written hard in third place is Bolshoi Ballet, then Powerful Laggy, who relegates once more Sun Char to be last of the five. As they race past the two, it is French claim from Emily Dickinson, a little bit closer on the outside, and is now on terms. In third place is Bolshoi Ballet, and French claim has picked off one from the rail by Emily Dickinson, and it's Emily Dickinson who goes to the front and readily opens up from French claim, Bolshoi Ballet, Sun Chart, and Powerful Laggy is being eased, but it's Emily Dickinson, the leader, they run up towards the finish, will win the vintage crop and return to action in good style. Double for Team Bally Doyle, certainly a day for Phillies. French claim second, Bolshoi Bally in turn. Yes, Edna Bryan joins me now after landing yet another uh, vintage crop uh, stakes here at Navin, double on the card this afternoon. Hey, well done, em Emily Dickinson. She was good and impressive. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Uh, we were, were delighted with her, her last run at the Curra last year. Uh, she's a filly with a lot of ability. Uh, Yvonne rides her every day and Jamie's in charge of her. Um, no, couldn't be happier. Hazel led her up. Uh, she, she's a filly we always thought when she would go beyond a mile and a half that we would see the best of her and that's what we did. She handled the knees in the ground well and uh, she's... Uh, changed nicely from three to four, so I'm not delighted with her really. And obviously, some cracking runs last year. Ran a cracker in the English Oaks, the Lily Langtry, she was third in. Good run in the English Ledger as well. Brown mightn't have just been as soft as what she would have liked when finishing fifth at the end. Yeah, and she's, she's a year older, a bit mature. Like she handles soft ground, but she also handles quick ground, you know. She, she probably stays very well, Kevin. Uh, she's a big engine, big heart, big lungs, and uh, she keeps pushing it out. And when you go to those extended distances, like uh, she really keeps keeps doing it. On her final run last year, it was the first time he stepped her up to two miles. She was very good, although dropping back into Group 3 company on very testing ground to win the lock round. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was two miles. Mm. So um, isn't she grew another leg. Seamus rode her, rode her gently and patiently, and she took off at the furlong mark with him. He was delighted with her. and uh, Obviously, Ryan gave her a lovely ride today. He knows her well. And uh, Ryan always said, like, 
distance. You could go any, any amount of distance with it, go as far as you want. And usually those Gold Cup horses kind of have to stay very well, you know. So, um, no, looking forward to her. And obviously Ryan was adamant as well not to let French claim too far away in his sights as well. He only sat, what, two, three lengths, four lengths max off, more, more off him all the way. Yeah, absolutely. It was lovely. Uh, obviously, he, he would love, it was a lovely lead, really. Uh, like, he's a good horse and he was going to go an even pace and, and obviously he stays well as well. So it was perfect, really. Something like the Savile Bag next? Yes, that was the plan to come here and go to Savile Bag and if everything went well, then she'd go to the Gold Cup. So that's what we were hoping for. Uh, we always had that in mind for her. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.